Today's presentation is the application of simulation in thermoforming. Uh, my name is uh, John Perticulius, and um, I'm the North American representative for Accuform, who is the developer of this uh, software package. The thermoforming process, uh, characterized by large deformations of polymeric materials, as you can see here in this animation, uh, there is a grid placed on a sheet, and you'll see it inflating first, the tool moving into the sheet, and then the vacuum pulling the sheet down. And originally, uh, the grid starts with uniform squares, and then you can see that they get uh, extended and distorted and become essentially uh, some form of uh, quadrilateral. Um, this deformation results in a thickness change throughout the part, and this is what we're looking to analyze. Now, TSIM is a thermoforming simulation uh, package that was developed by Accuform in the Czech Republic, and it has the ability to have 20 independently moving tools, so it can handle very complex forming applications, from plug-assisted forming, vacuum forming, pressure forming, positive, negative, just about anything you can think of, um, the software can handle the tool movement and the conditions required. Of course, the software can predict webs and wrinkles uh, during forming. Um, we can have a temperature optimization if we have pattern heating for our oven. The software will give an indication of what sort of um, <coughs> pattern you should have on the on the initial um, part temperature distribution. And we can also do image distortion, and it can assist with image pre-distortion in developing uh, parts that are uh, sheets that are pre-printed. And finally, there is some cooling analysis, um, which can aid in cycle time prediction. So just to uh, demonstrate some of the capabilities of the software. Here we show positive forming where the tool starts off below the sheet uh, center line and is pushed through the sheet and then the vacuum comes on and pulls the material down onto the tool. The colors you see represent thickness. Blue is uh, thick and red is the minimum thickness. And as you can see, the part starts off uh, relatively blue, the sheet starts off relatively blue and then starts to reduce in thickness during the forming. TSIM can also handle negative forming, that is drawing into a cavity, and including undercuts. So as you can see here, we have this undercut, and the sheet forms into the cavity, and then pulls into the undercut. Of course, this is a much more complex tool, as it will need um, to, to remove the part, you'll need to have um, a special tool arrangement. TSIM can also have plug-assisted forming. And here we have negative forming with a lower plug assist. The plug pushes the material into the cavity, and then the vacuum completes the forming process. So you can see here the plug pushing the material and the vacuum completing the forming process. TSIM gives high graphic priority to the sheet, so you cannot really see the cavity on the upper side of the sheet because the sheet is always given the top graphic priority. And at the end, it becomes evident where the uh, cavities are. <clears throat> In addition to the uh, plug-assisted forming, um, each tool can have independent motion, as shown here. This tool here stops first while these tools continue, and then the vacuum um, pulls the material to the surface. So we can have plug-assisted forming up to 20 independently moving tools. Let me talk a little bit about material properties. The accuracy of the simulation is dependent on the accuracy of the description of the material properties. However, material property data is difficult to obtain. And the mathematical description of the material behavior is quite complicated. That's why um, thermoforming simulations aren't very common. What we need to characterize the material is stress versus strain data at several deformation rates. So this represents 
uh, pulling the material at a slow rate and determining the force required to pull the material, let's say, at a, a slow pulling rate, and here's like a moderate pulling rate, and here's a fast pulling rate. And you can see that the fast pulling rate requires more force. We take this type of data and we fit it to a mathematical function, so we have a continuous uh, value for st of stress versus strain at at um, a variety of strain rates that we could interpolate. And we need to do this for at least three temperatures for the material, typically the processing temperature, and then the processing temperature minus 10 degrees, and the processing temperature minus 20 degrees. The material properties model that is used to characterize and, and fit this data to characterize the material um, is very, very important because polymers exhibit both viscous and elastic behavior that is time dependent. As a result, we must have some time dependent viscoelastic mathematical model to describe this behavior. TSIM uses the KBKZ model, which is the most widely ex accepted uh, but difficult to implement. It requires uh, some significant amount of calculations and hence computing power. So why do we want to simulate the process anyway? Well, um, let's look at what we can determine with a computer simulation. First of all, we can predict the final part thickness, which is always useful, um, especially if the final part also has some critical uh, requirements, let's say load-bearing requirements. We can take this final part thickness prediction and export it out to a stress analysis program and determine if our final part will have the required mechanical properties. We can determine potential forming problems, perhaps blowouts, uh, webs or wrinkles that might be formed in the, in the process, and modify the geometry accordingly or develop plug assists that can be used to avoid these problems. And in the plug assist design, um, of course, there are many, many options to using plug assists. All those options can be analyzed very quickly using a simulation, and then just the one or two most likely options um, tried experimentally. And of course, process optimization, um, rate of speed of the plug, uh, how far the plug should be engaged, uh, vacuum times. Uh, when they should be on. Uh, all these sort of things can be simulated with the process, uh, when, what temperature to operate at and so forth, and we'll discuss these a little bit more uh, as we get into the presentation. The um, steps required for the simulation specific to the TSIM, thermal forming simulation software, are as follows. We need to import the tool mold geometry, usually provided as an STL file because we simply need a surface that the um, material will uh, form up against. This includes plug assist or any pressure boxes that might be used to form the um, material uh, prior to vacuum. Um, then we have to define the sheet geometry. This means the size, the thickness, the temperature, and any temperature profile that we might have on the sheet, as well as the clamping size. Then we specify the process conditions, the timings, the movement of the tools, when the vacuum is applied, how long it's applied for, temperatures, um, heat and friction uh, coefficients. And finally, we run the simulation, and then we analyze the results or post-process of the analysis. <clears throat> 